Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to fit some new tires on my Mazda Miata because the old ones are really worn, especially on the outside they are completely gone. And when I mean completely gone, they are completely gone. And this is some, <laughs> some rubber. I wonder how that got there. So yeah, these are the Bridgestone Adrenalines. They are really cheap and they should be really great. So we'll find out they're 44 bucks a piece. And yeah, that's quite cheap. With the new tires on, it will be like one and a half centimeters higher, but it will be a better tuck in the wheel arch. So I'm going to raise it like two centimeters and then I can get it aligned. And I first need to get the drift knuckles, then I can get it aligned. So now it's time to find out if the jack will fit underneath the car. Probably not. <laughs> nope, <laughs> this isn't going to work. And I absolutely love the pattern of this tire. Hancock. I'm very interested to see what it looks like when these stretch tires are coming loose so they aren't bedded in anymore. And I think we will have like one or two centimeters here and on the bottom. And now it's time to take off the tire without damaging the wheel. And that's his job. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> and this is what I meant by easy. The <laughs> Well, we didn't even need tools to get it off. And this is one big ass rim. Well, he's fitting my new tires, so I'm going to raise the car up a bit. I will probably raise it up like a centimeter and then see what it does. And measure it from the pinch weld and it should be on the front like 10, 10 centimeters. On the rear like 11 or 11 and a half. That's the best for racing. It will prevent my car from scraping like crazy like it does now and the entire bottom is probably free of rust now so that's a plus but further than that it's really annoying. This is the thing and I'm going to count how many threads I have left here on the bottom and I will do the exact same thing on the other side so quite easy. Even though the tire is only 195 it looks so awesome let's take a look. It looks so much bigger and as you can see this is really flush and yeah on the camera you can't really see it but it looks so white in real life. Other thing we need to do is fix the front lip with some dr drift stitches because I drove it off when I was drifting and yeah I need, really, really need to fix it. So let's get it out of the trunk. One piece and here's the other. So now it's time to drill some holes, get some zip ties and then install them. And you always want some street cred, so you need to get colored zip ties. Hopefully I, I have them and otherwise we need to do it with some black ones. So this side is fitted, some drift stitching. Nice. <laughs> well, as you can see, now it is really flush and I probably will need to pull my fenders a bit. And in front, they are spot on. So finally, everything is fitted and the car drives a lot better. It's a bit less a go-kart because it's yeah a bit higher up, but I must say it drives way more comfortable and the suspension now really does something. It's not that the entire time riding on the bump stops but it's really using the suspension so now I, now I can really review the VMAX coilovers and yeah the fitment is still great still great fitment but now with a lot more beefy tires but yeah that was it for now if you liked the video give the thumbs up share the video leave a comment below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, this new crazy mother.